Hey guys, and welcome to Tasmania TV. Today it's time for another DIY video, and today I'm going to be making a garter belt. And this is so amazingly simple, you guys are gonna be like, what? That's all there's to it? Garter belts, yes, you can buy them at the store, and there are probably tons of different variations of them, but I found, like, at the regular underwear stores, they only have the very lacy kind, like the very delicate kind and the straps are usually really, really thin, so if that's not what you're looking for, I'm thinking you have to make something of your own design. What you're going to need for this is elastic band. I'm going to be using a 14 millimeter black one today, but you go for thicker or thinner if that's what you are into. And for the clasps, I just picked up these two at a local craft store. So there's two in each. These are 25 millimeter clasps and they're kind of the same that you use for suspenders. If you have a pair of suspenders that you're not using, you can just cut those apart and use the clasps like that. Also, if you're only planning on using your garter belt for fishnet thigh highs, and more importantly the kind that doesn't have that sort of thick band at the top, you can actually just adjust hooks like this instead of these because these are a lot cheaper. I got like a hundred of them for basically no money at all on eBay. And these you can just pull like into the net of the fishnets themselves, but these won't work for other kinds of stockings. So if you want to be able to use them on other kinds, these kinds of clasps will do best. Other than that, you're just going to need your regular sewing stuff, so your sewing machine, pair of scissors, needles, and crap like that. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? You guys saw me make the, the thigh clencher with the pentagram, and I also made a pentagram harness to go with that. So this is kind of on that same subject. So you can always put your own personal design into this. I'm just making this one really, really simple. So I'm going to be making two waistband pieces, and then from that, the four straps. Now the reason why I'm doing two instead of just one basic waistband is because I don't like these things to be very, very tight on me. I don't like underwear that are super, super tight. I kind of prefer them almost falling off actually because it feels a lot better. And I think it looks better too, but that's just personal. So if you like things really tight, just go ahead and just make that more snug. But I'm gonna add two rows. So the top one is gonna be like higher up where I'm thinner, so like more up towards my actual waistline. And then the second one is gonna be more over my hip. So if the second one starts to kind of pull down, the first one is gonna keep the second one from going down. I actually did make a first version of this garter belt and I only made it in one line and I made it so that it only stays on my hip. But my hip is the widest place on my body. So if that starts to fall down, there's nothing keeping it up. So that's why I'm doing two rows this time. All right, so first off, either get your measuring tape and measure like the two measurements that you want, the higher one, like <laughs> higher up, and then the second lower down, or just use the band directly and just mark it where you want it to go. So I think my top one is gonna be good up here, so it's kind of in the same height as my belly button. So just pin the edges together there and just laying that aside for now. And then measuring the second one. Okay, so this one I want it to go like over my hip a little bit more. So maybe down here, so we'll have like this big of a gap in between them, which I think is good. So you should have one that is slightly shorter and one that is a little bit longer. So go ahead and sew both of those shut. After you've sewn them together, the next step now is to put them on, or in my case, put them onto my mannequin, and then decide how long I want the downward going straps to be. Now this depends like on the length of your legs, how high up you're gonna wear this, how high the stockings are that you're gonna wear with it. So just adjust this to whatever you prefer. And as you guys can probably tell, these are placed inside out right now. Just to make it simpler, I'm going to pin these straight on here and that way I can just sew them right on and then flip everything and it will be the correct way. So everything is now flipped inside out. So I'm just placing the sewn edges in the very middle, like above each other like this. All right, so I have my length. I'm just going to cut four equally long pieces and then just start pinning them wherever I feel like I want them to go.
Now, if you're like me using a mannequin to attach these, just make sure that you try them on before you sew everything on so that they end up where you want them on your thigh. And also, since there's very minimal sewing needed here, you can actually sew this on by hand. You don't need a sewing machine if you don't have one. Once you're happy with your placement, sew all of these pinned areas on. After that, it's time for the clasps. So I'm just going to pin those and I'll go over each of those with some stitches and then guys, we're done. Obviously, if you want to add some decorations, go ahead and do that. Or if you want to keep it simple, awesome. That is it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!